Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Emily Pearson, and I'm the founder and managing director at an organization called Our Minds Work. Um, this is the information event for our level five mental health culture change diploma. So we're very excited today to be welcoming and so many of you here who are obviously interested in developing yourselves and your career and ultimately impacting people's lives at work. So uh, my background is really kind of 25 years now working in the health and social care sector. And I've worked from varying settings, from um, community settings with children and young people, all the way through to adults in homelessness, dual diagnosis and substance misuse services. Um, I've also worked in the secure environment, again, with both young people and, and adults as well in um, criminal justice, which was um, both out in the community and uh, residential and secure settings. So really about 15 years ago, um, I decided that I wanted to boost my career and move from being a, a health and social care practitioner to share my knowledge and experience of working in the field and qualified as a health and social care trainer. So this is my, my specialism and uh, many decades of a career. I then had the amazing opportunity to work with MIND um, on probably one of the first ever workplace mental health culture change programmes. This was commissioned by the government and it was specifically to tackle the mental health problems that the emergency services were experiencing. So this was about seven years ago now, and the programme is still going today. It's called the Blue Light Programme. And this is where, really where I understood around culture change and how we can change cultures to improve mental health and well-being in any workplace, any uh, industry, um, to have long-lasting impacts, which obviously is about culture, that is about creating that behaviour change. So four and a half years ago, I took a lot of that learning um, from my, you know, my years of work in frontline with people, but then also working in the culture change um, area and brought it into Our Minds Work. So Our Minds Work really exists to help organisations create mentally healthy workplaces that thrive through a culture change model. So this is our own gold standard model. It's something that we've developed through you know, years and years of experience in, in working in this field, um, both health and social care and the workplace. And it is based around a number of best practice evidence frameworks. Some of those are from health and social care, and some of those are actually from um, workplace mental health standards as well. So our minds work use our framework to develop and deliver evidence-based programs to actually get that behavior and culture change. And we do that through a range of trainings which are accredited. So obviously today is about the level five diploma. This is our highest level qualification all the way through to manager training at level three and information and awareness raising at a level at a level one. So we're here to talk about the level five mental health culture change diploma. This is something that I've said already, you know, we work with our clients to work through this, this culture change and implementing initiatives, programs and training and, and development to actually reach what we class as inspiring culture. And that's a culture that really attracts and retains talent. It's um, an organization that has a culture of care where people's mental health and well-being is seen as a huge part of a winning business strategy. And these are just some of our clients that we've had the pleasure to work with. We work with our clients over um, many, many years. Culture change doesn't happen overnight. Um, that's why we build amazing relationships with amazing clients who really, really do want to create that cultural shift and embed it so that it becomes part of the tradition of that business. So why are we here today? One of the things that we noticed over the past couple of years was all of this work that we were doing as specialists, we actually realized that there were people internally 
that could do the work that we do, provided with the right tools, the right knowledge, the right information, and obviously the right qualification and support to do that. Those people tended to be one of these. So you may be able to relate to uh, one of these statements. Maybe you're here today because you have the responsibility uh, to develop and deliver an effective mental health and wellbeing strategy. Maybe you have to do this alongside an action plan, but you feel that you're learning as you go. Um, being self-taught can lead us feeling like, do we know enough? Do we know what the best standard is? How can we back up what we know with theories and models? Maybe you're here today because you have experience in delivering mental health and wellbeing initiatives but you need the theory and knowledge and tools to back up your decision making with health behavior change knowledge while earning a professional qualification. We see a lot of people interested in this qualification who are already doing some of this work, which is absolutely amazing because ultimately the work that you may have already done around delivering these initiatives means that that just becomes evidence for your level five diploma qualification. If you're doing the work already, you may as well get a specialist qualification to sit alongside that as evidence. Maybe you're here today because you've got a passion for mental health and well-being, and you want to advance your career in HR, health and safety and workplace well-being. Maybe you even want to change your career direction altogether. Um, we have seen the role of HR begin to evolve significantly. Now, seven years ago, workplace mental health and well-being wasn't necessarily a big part of the HR role, yet latest research has been shown that it has become one of the highest rated um, sections of HR roles that they are involved in now. Ultimately, you may be a senior leader or business owner who wants to lead and implement culture change to create mentally healthy workplaces that thrive and have a positive impact on your whole organization by improving people's health and lives. So you could be a senior leader, uh, you could be a department leader with a wider department where you are looking to implement transformational culture change around mental health and well-being. Um, you know, these roles are all perfect for our qualification that we're talking about today. So let me know if you relate to any of those in the chat box. Which one do you fit under? You know, why are you here today? Why are you interested in this level five mental health culture change diploma? So this might be starting to give you a little bit of an idea of why we actually developed the diploma in the first place. What we were actually seeing and what we have been seeing over the past seven years is an increase in poor mental health, despite increases in mental health initiatives being implemented in the workplace. So we were trying to figure out, you know, why is this happening? Why are companies ultimately not seeing an improvement in mental health and culture change um, when some of our clients were seeing that as they were measuring it? Uh, we were coming across lots of concerned leads who were struggling to get stakeholder buy-in and investment with a commitment to a budget and a budget that's actually going to work on a culture change framework, not just ticking boxes with one-off initiatives because it's Mental Health Awareness Week, which is today one of those days, day two of Mental Health Awareness Week. Implementing a culture change diploma like this um, will help to make everyday mental health and awareness day and engage in that throughout the year. We were also seeing that legal obligations are just not being met, especially when it comes to prevention of work-related stress. And we saw a massive increase in burnout, especially in industries that we'd never seen it being reported before. Um, previously, burnout was only really experienced by people in health and social care. It was very, very well known because of the type of work that was being done. We're now seeing burnout being related to any workplace across any industry and any sector, which was very, very worrying. We're ultimately being, um, we were ultimately seeing as well that employee needs were actually not being met, specifically when it was coming to inclusivity. We, you may have heard of the generic um, one size fits all approach to mental health. 
unfortunately, that ends up excluding a huge amount of people within a workplace. So we were seeing people not actually um, being involved in workplace mental health initiatives or, or engaging in them because of this generic one size fits all approach. And HR um, often were given the role of developing and delivering on an effective, um, you know, evidenced a strategy and action plan to create behavior change and improve mental health and well-being. This is a brand new occupational responsibility without any kind of professional qualification or background, um, especially if you've been in HR all your life, chances are you've never done any work in health and social care or mental health before. So there was a big kind of knowledge and skills gap there for this new occupational responsibility. So we realized that we have we have what what we can give to people to to ultimately do what we support our clients to do and that's you know why we're here today some of the diploma benefits are benefits for you and also benefits for your employer so the benefits for you mean that you will gain a nationally recognized specialist subject qualification. And when you pass the level five diploma, and we have a hundred percent pass rate at the moment, you will be able to apply the post nominal letters of DIP MHCC to show that you are an expert in this field. This will help to increase your expertise, your performance in your role, and your earning potential in an area of value to employers right now. Um, employers are understanding that having a healthy, happy workforce who are, who are mentally well and engaged at work is a winning business strategy. The benefits for you will help you to be fearless in your business case and decision making on your initiatives, on your programs, any actions that you need to take to improve mental health, um, they will be committed to by your stakeholders and trusted by your colleagues because you will be seen as the expert. This diploma will also help you to grow your capability and confidence, making sure that you're an inspiration for your leaders. You're able to lead effective mental health and well-being culture change from a legal compliance all the way through to indiv individualized and targeted support. Um, you know, this then becomes, it's not a tick box. This isn't just something that you're doing because it's another mental health awareness campaign. This is actually part of a people strategy and it's part of your business strategy to achieve that. You will be seen as the subject matter expert within any organization that you work in that leads transformational change. You will be able to leave a legacy behind that ultimately changes people's lives and saves them. Um, and you know that end bit for me really is why we do what we do. Uh, working in health and social care for so long, that is why I get out of bed every day. It's about helping people to change their own lives to improve them and, and save them as we go as well. So then benefits for your employer. We know the best talent wants to work for the best organizations. Um, if you able to invest to create that culture of care, it really will help to attract and retain employees. That means that they're safe in the knowledge that you as their employer prioritizes their health and well-being. They're not just seen as what's the next um, person to come through the door who can make us money and you're creating that culture of care. Individual thriving, as we know, relies on good mental health and well-being. Good mental health is the big umbrella for everything else to happen. Um, and there is no, no health without mental health. They are all invested in each other. So investing in mental health and well-being, it has a proven return on investment up to £11 per £1 spent, specifically for a culture change model like this. So by improving engagement, productivity, reducing presenteeism, reducing sickness absence, you know, these things all play a part in solving some of the problems that you might have, but they're essential for a winning business strategy. 
your employer and you will be confident that you are going above and beyond just your duty of care and legal obligations. You know, this is a moral thing as well as a financial thing. This is about looking after our people and making sure that we are in line with the Equality Act and self health and safety regulations, but that we actually care about our employees and we care about their health and well-being as well. It can also help to reduce the risk of litigation. It embeds a safety first approach to any health and wellbeing strategy. Um, and we are seeing an increase in um, litigation for, um, you know, the, for work related stress cause and personal injury claims. Um, we are seeing quite a, a few issues around mental health first aiders. Um, and other types of champions not being implemented safe, safely as well. So when it comes to our organisation, taking that safety first approach will ensure that anything that you do starts with um, safety first for your colleagues, for you and for the employer as well. We are very lucky today to be joined by Julia Wilson from KLX UK. So Julia was um, one of our level five learners from last year's cohort. And as you can see by our lovely post nominal letters there, if you start seeing these around on LinkedIn or on people's signatures, you now know exactly what qualification they've completed to achieve that. Um, Julia, uh, would you like to introduce yourself and then I'll just ask you literally a couple of questions about your experience of the Level 5 Diploma? Yeah, sure. Hi everyone, I'm Julia. I work for Calex UK. Um, I'm a People and Wellbeing Manager. Um, we're a training and consultant um, organisation providing training to um, automotive organisations. Um, and so the, the reason um, that I was interested really in doing the diploma is that um, in my function as um, recruitment, onboarding, processes and policies, very much an, an HR kind of role, um, it's something that I wanted to do to make sure that we could support our staff and that we could have a mentally and, and healthy workplace. Um, and also it came, it, it, it felt quite well, actually, I was going through a, a period of in my life where actually I would have really benefited from some from some support from my employer. Um, and it didn't come, unfortunately. And it's not because, you know, we don't have, you know, I don't have empathetic and nice employers. We're just not tooled and, and we don't have the skill set to, to support. So um, by doing this diploma, um, I very much have that now um, so that we can support people in the future. Brilliant. Thank, thanks, Julie. It sounds, you know, you give some really great examples of, you know, why you were interested in enrolling in the diploma to, to start there. Uh, what were some of the highlights for you as a learner on the diploma? Yes, I, I, I'm not academic. I, I don't like learning particularly, but I really enjoyed this course for a number of reasons. Um, it's a subject that's very close to me. I, I was, you know, I'm genuinely interested um, and the 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 process. So you have a number of masterclasses where you join your cohort of learners. So you you're familiar with the group that you're learning with, which is nice. Um, you see Emily um, and Emma regularly. And if you don't have a masterclass to attend, then you know that you can reach out to them. Um, and then if you're not attending a masterclass, that's where you're self-serving and, and you're researching and you're completing your work. But you can call on your cohort that you, you've now got a relationship with and or Emily and, and Emma to help you. So I, I just really liked the, the process of the learning and the, and the blend. So we had some virtual sessions and like I say, a lot of it was self-serve. Um, but the fact that it is virtual as well, that we're not having to go somewhere and do it and sit in a classroom, um, I think is far more time efficient and effective as well. Wonderful. Thank you. How quickly were you able to implement that learning that you were experiencing? Yeah, so some things were really quick to implement. So processes and policies um, I, I took from that are key. Um, so something simple like our one-to-one -one document 
that we use every month with our employees, um, it didn't have a, a mental health and, and well-being section. So I've put that in now. So it's the first thing that we talk about when we have our one to one with our employees. Um, so it's got that welfare check in and it also includes if you if you're not familiar with it, it's called the mental health continuum. And if you don't know about it, you would learn about it through this diploma. Um, it's just a really good visual for individuals to either identify themselves, kind of what state their their mental health is. Is it good or is it not so good? Um, steps that they can take to make it better um, and or it helps you have that conversation starter. Some people find it difficult to have those conversations and it's just a very good prompt to naturally start those conversations with um, with your employees. So that, that was um, something quite good at, to, that we could quickly fix. Um, also the stress risk assessments, um, something that I wasn't familiar with at the time. And now I know that we're legally obliged to, to have that conversation if somebody says that they're uh, stressed at work. So that's something really quick to, to implement as well. But, but like Emily, you mentioned earlier, it, it's not a quick thing. You know, and, and if you if you complete the diploma, you'll complete an action plan. And mine is my Bible now and it's my go to. Um, and, and I'm working towards achieving it every day, every week. Every, it's, it's a rolling document. I even add to it. And, and since I've achieved the diploma, I'm adding things to it um, because it takes time to embed and, and change a culture. Um, and it's just to, to remind yourself of that and not put the pressure on yourself and make sure that the things that we do implement are of quality and it's the right thing. Yeah. Um, and, and that will make you successful in, in the role. Yeah, excellent. Thanks, Julia. What impacts and benefits how do you feel have had, you know, the biggest outcomes for you? Yes, yeah, so the biggest outcomes, I think I can talk with more confidence and conviction now as you say you get your nominal letters after and I wear them with pride and I've got just here on my desk you might not be able to see that <laughs> as a reflection but I've got my certificate so everybody knows <laughs> that I'm the expert um so I think that helps um it, it's promoting myself and and trying to, and, and embedding this culture change now across our organization and it, it really helps if you've got the support from the C-suite, from your, from your managing director, from your managers, because you can't do it on your own. You, you can't. Um, you can oversee it and you can lead on it, but you really do need support from above. And then and below, it's a top down approach. Um, so the impact and benefits of, of this is I've really got my MD, um, his support now, um, uh, you know, it's a certain generation where, you know, mental health and well-being wasn't spoken about. So it's we don't need anything. It's OK kind of thing. And it, and it's, you know, I'm on there on the shoulder to say, no, it's not OK, actually. You know, it's important for today, for our employees today. And also, if anybody's responsible for recruitment, as I am, that's one of the benefits that people are looking for now. It, they're not just looking for the money and the opportunities, but what other benefits would I get from you if I come to work for you? Do you have an employer assistance programme in place? What is your mental health and wellbeing policy? So it's something now that we look for when we're looking for new job opportunities. So it's just trying to embed that now um, in our culture. Yeah. So that's the biggest impact, I think, getting the support to allow me now to, to go and, and do what I need to do to, to make us a, a mentally healthier and, and you know, better workplace to, to work for. Excellent. Thanks so much, Julia. Thank You're you for, for coming along today and, and sharing, sharing a little bit about your experience. So Julia has now completed. Julia, how long did it take you to complete your diploma? Um, our cohort, we, it did take us between 10 and 11 months. Yeah. Um, but it didn't seem that long, to be honest. Um, <laughs> no, definitely. You know, and if you bear in mind as well, I, I was working full time alongside doing this. So it's not yeah. like a massive um, drain on, on you yeah. whilst working. Actually, it helps you. It certainly helped me because a lot of what I included in my action plan in, in the work I submitted to Emma and Emily, um, you, you almost need that work experience. Yes. Yeah. 
to time it. flies yeah. when you're having fun julia doesn't it doesn't it doesn't it yeah well I'm done as well sad. well yeah, done well you've done, done fantastic julia. No, I thank you. Find, and thank I couldn't you find my friends. reactions button, so I thought I'd have to take myself off mute. So well, thank well, you. Well, yeah, well, thank you. And yeah, and you know, thank you for your support. Again, it's um, it's it's much appreciated. Brilliant. That's that's amazing, amazing news because the the program is twelve months. So to know that you're able to complete it in uh, you know shorter shorter time without that huge drain um, on your time because of the workplace implementation is really great to hear. Yeah. Good. Thanks so much, Julia. You're welcome. Thanks so, for yeah. Thank you. So let's just continue with just some of the um, special special features of the diploma. I'll tell you a little bit about what's unique about it. Um, we have actually made a couple of changes as well since the last one, um, which I'm excited to share with everybody today. So a couple of the things that are very unique specifically about this programme is it that it does provide you with one best practice framework for all health and well-being. So our model, when we um, designed the model, it is developed on um, a culture change framework that is used in health and social care. It's used by Public Health England, it's used by the World Health Organization, which means that you can use that same framework for any well-being topic, not just mental health. So if you were trying to change the culture around um, smoking, uh, menopause, um, parental leave, anything that you wanted to focus on, you can use this exact same framework as your gold standard. It also helps you to create a suicide, suicide safer workplace beyond mental health first aid training. So this goes all the way through to safeguarding. It helps you to think about the best and safest way to implement not just mental health first aid, but also at any network um, or champions or advocate programs. Uh, we help you to make sure that, again, you have one consistent approach to that. The diploma helps you to take a gender informed approach to health and well being. So, we start to get you to think outside of the box and how you're going to reach um, people when there may be differences in their mental health and well being because of their sex or gender, and be able to take an informed approach to that. We also help you to create your own blueprint for all peer-to-peer -peer networks. So this is about making sure that any peer-to-peer -peer network that you have in place, these could be mental health first aid as well, being champions, man ambassadors, um, menopause champions, they're all doing ultimately the same role. It's really important as an organization as you're building on these champion networks that everybody's safeguarded, you're able to monitor, review the support that they're providing and keep everyone safe. It also looks at health and well-being through a DNI lens. So again, making it really, really targeted to your employees and your colleagues, rather than just taking a one size fits all approach, which will miss the mark the majority of the time. And we're going to be doing that this year by adding some amazing subject matter expert partners. We have um, these brilliant partners who are trusted by our minds work because we've worked with them for a very, very long time. Um, we've now brought them into the diploma to provide our learners with that subject matter expert as part of your mental health and well-being strategy. If you are an organization that has apprenticeships, um, you know, providing mental health and well-being support for apprentices um, requires safeguarding. It requires keeping uh, vulnerable young people safe. So we do work with Rachel, at, who is a safeguarding specialist from RLB Safeguarding, and make sure that you're given enough information to think about this and implement it as part of your safeguarding um, section of your mental health and well-being uh, strategy. We're also working with Man Health, um, and we are partnered with Man Health as we deliver together the Man Ambassador Program. This is about paying attention to a male-specific gendered approach to your health and well-being initiatives, especially where 
you may have initiatives in place, but you're finding that your men are just completely missing from it. Uh, current up-to-date research has actually shown us that we just need a different approach. We need to better understand male psychology and how we engage men in health and health seeking behaviours beyond the message of you just need to talk. Um, male suicide, as we know, is three times higher for men than women, especially if you're working in a male dominated industry like the construction industry. This particularly will help you to think about how you can target um, your strategy and initiatives to support men. We're also working with 5050 Future. This is the two Lindsays. The specialism is equality and diversity. So they will be bringing all of their ADI experience to the table for you as well, so that you can start to think about how you implement this and you look at your strategy through an ADI lens. We're also working in um, conjunction with Miss Menopause or Sharon MacArthur, as she is much less well known as. Um, Sharon is absolutely amazing at targeting and engaging people in the conversation around menopause. She can provide lots of guidance on, um, on building a, a policy, what kind of training people need as well, bringing that menopause importance into the workplace and your strategy. And finally, our last partner is the Health Insurance Group. So we'll be working with Adam um, to provide you lots of information on how employee benefits like EAPs, like occupational health and other employee benefits that employees are, are, are looking for as part of a, a benefit package when working with a company, um, you know, what are the most beneficial for your employees to help them to improve their mental health and well-being? So we're really, really proud to be working with um, all of these organizations and people to bring a range of expert knowledge into a mental health and well-being diploma. So just to cover some of the details on the delivery, um, if you don't have this in the leaflet, well, we will be following up with all of the information that you need today as well. Um, this is how it's delivered. You do have up to 12 months to complete your diploma. We front load the masterclasses. So you can see on the left hand side, you are onboarded. We will onboard you virtually onto the diploma around about August time, preparing you for your first masterclass in September. So as you can see, we've got masterclass one in September there. You've got masterclass two, three, then you've got a group mentoring session, masterclass four and masterclass five. So they're front loaded over the first five months. They're all completely virtual. We do record them. So if you're on holiday or you're sick, you can still catch up. You won't miss any of the program whatsoever. We also provide 12 months because we have 13 specialist units for you to complete as well. So you can complete one unit per month as you're going through the programme, preparing you for your final assessment. This works out at about three to 10 hours of applied learning per, per month. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an adult programme. This is a very high level of qualification. You know, this isn't just a, a course that you come along to and, you know, you do for a couple of days. This is a, a, a level five diploma, so it requires that level of learning. But as you've already heard from Julia, um, the majority of that learning is, is on the job. You are delivering your learning, you're learning as you go. And as you're doing that, you're creating your portfolio and your action plan. So once you get to the presentation for your final assessment, we will we'll have been assessing your units throughout the program. So that will be ongoing. You will also be receiving one to one mentoring as you go on as well. And that group mentoring session in the middle of your master classes to continue to support you as you learn. Your endpoint assessment is literally a 10 minute presentation. Um, we'll have completed the assessment of all of your units, your portfolio and your action plan. So you'll have done all that work. And as Julia said, it can be done in 11 months, doesn't even take you 12 months uh, to, do, to actually complete on. 
So just the timetable. So if you are interested and you're looking at, at some of these dates, as I said, we'll have a, a digital launch happening in August time. Um, your first masterclass is the 19th of September. And then you've got all of your masterclasses there. So masterclass two is in October, masterclass three in November. You have your group mentor session, which is just two hours in December. Then masterclass four in January, masterclass five in February. And then you've got your mark your, all the way through to August the next year to actually complete your diploma ready for your endpoint assessment. But that could be you. If you did this in six months, we would mark all your work and do your endpoint assessment in that time as well. So it doesn't have to take you 12 months to do it. Hopefully this is all sounding great. It sounds like it's gonna fit in with your role, your organization strategy, you know, your future planning for mental health and wellbeing. But why actually choose us? Um, there's a couple of reasons why we hope that you do. We are workplace mental health experts with a health and social care background. We're qualified teachers and trainers and specifically in this area. And as I said at the beginning, my background is 25 years working in the field. And I know Emma's here today and she has been working in the field for probably around about 15 years now as well. And, you know, we're here to provide that level of expertise. Your study is very, very flexible. The majority of it is on the job implementation. Yet yeah, that means that you can make instant impact as soon as you learn something new within the diploma. You will be working with other peers who are in similar situations to you. They may be working in similar industries as well. You know, this peer-to-peer -peer learning is really, really beneficial when you're learning from what other um, professionals are doing. Um, and how it's impacting them. You know, we, we have come with a framework. We come from a level of knowledge and expertise, but what really helps us to learn is actually doing these things and then hearing other people's examples and how it's worked for them as well. We provide very high quality work. This means that not just in our specialism and the work that we do, um, it, we've created it specifically for your role and uh, we pride ourselves on our high quality work from our clients that we work with, the impact that we help them have and um, we work with them for years and years and years building that relationship and seeing them make impact um, that makes a difference and what that means is we also um, are very proud of our accreditation all of our training and diplomas are accredited. We've been working with OCN Credit for Learning for the past five years now, building our accredited program. Um, our level five diploma is the highest training program that we have at the moment. And it is national, it's a nationally accredited diploma, which is in relevance to a foundation degree level qualification. So it's pretty significant. Just a couple of, um, slides left to go before we finish off. Payment options, the full diploma is £3,500 plus VAT. So this can be funded in a couple of ways, either employer funded, which the majority of our um, learners do. They find that their employer is committed to developing them for the benefit of their workforce and their mental health and wellbeing um, agenda. So that employer funded, you know, we can send you the book and form after this session can be completed we set up an invoice and you know it's as simple as that if you were looking to self-fund we do have two options it is zero percent interest and you can pay either six or 12 months of direct debit installments there are no additional costs you pay for exactly what you get but we will go above and beyond so if you do need any additional help you know, we can provide that for you to make sure that you're achieving the qualification at the end. However, as I said, we've got a 100% pass rate so far. We haven't needed to do that. You can book now um, and for only a £150 deposit, there are only 10 spaces available now. 
and um, I'm just going to pop in the chat box the link for you to actually um, book before you go. Uh, we found that when we delivered this session um, a couple of weeks ago, we had a lot of people contacting us straight away wanting to book to confirm their spot. So I am going to put the link in the chat box so that before you go, you can get on there and you can book your spot for £150 deposit. Just to tell you a little bit about um, you know, who we've worked with before with this, um, these are our level four and level five diplomas from the past couple of years. Uh, we delivered a level four mental health leadership diploma to organizations like Amazon, Changing Lives, um, BISA, Building Engineering Services Association and Clark Chapman. And this year, we've been very, very lucky to increase that uh, level of delivery into our level five diploma through Sky and Bupa, Rescue and KLX and, and many, many more organizations that we work with who we're trusted by. So it's really quite a nice, humbling thing to be able to say. Okay, let me tell you how you enroll before we finish the session. I'm going to pop the book and link in the chat box to confirm your spot with a £150 deposit. It will tell us that you've booked and we will send you out the enrolment book and form. We are going to send everything out in an email as well. We'll send out the recorder and the brochure, the slides from today. So if you do need to go and speak to a budget holder internally, you'll have everything that you need to continue that conversation. Um, however, as I said before, there are only 10 spaces left. So if you do want to book it um, with a deposit first, while well, you go away and do that, and this will be a great way to make sure that you confirm your booking. The next diploma isn't going to be running until September 2024. Uh, so this may be, if it's not time for you now, we will be enrolling again next year. I just want to leave you with a final um, testimonial from another one of our Level 5 learners, uh, Elena from Bupa Global. Elena really had a huge passion for mental health and well-being from her own lived experiences, and she actually wanted to change her whole career. Um, so uh, Elena was one of our self-funders, and she funded the diploma to change her career direction and we're very very proud of her she's done an absolutely amazing job and she as you can see by a testimonial here she has gone from zero to a certified profession in one of the most rewarding structured and comprehensive ways so we're very very proud to call her you know one of our learners does anyone have any questions are there any questions in the chat box that we might need to cover emma there was no, no questions in the chat box. You've just been far too engaging for people to write anything down in. Okay, Maybe. would anybody like to um, ask any questions and take yourself off mute? No? Okay, right. Let me just pop the link into the chat box. If you would like to open it, this will give you the link to um, book your spot with just £150 deposit. Let me just pop you in here. There we go. Oh, it's lovely to see Andrew thinking about that in the future. There we go. There's the link. Feel free to open it now. We are going to follow up with an email and the recording and all of the, the documentation that supports this. And I will pop that link in the email as well if you're not quite ready to sign up now. But there are only 10 spaces left. Um, and I know somebody's just emailed today to say that they're going to take one of those spaces. So, you know, if you, this is for you, the time is now. Um, we don't want you to miss out. Thank you very much for attending today. Hopefully, we will get to see you again very, very soon. Thank you.